I love the story. It's a story I didn't know about, you know, and, and then read the book and was fascinated by it and the fact that it was a, a true story and one that I think a lot of people are unaware of. Um, uh, but the, the aesthetic of this film, you know, we haven't seen um, horse-mounted cavalry charges since the First World War. And so to have modern warfare uh, and, and, and weaponry and, and uh, armor uh, on horseback, I think is, is visually pretty stunning and unique. The film starts um, September 11, and uh, with with the towers being hit and uh, the sort of the chaos that that, that that follows, you know, and the, the uncertainty or the the sort of um, you know the, the the anxiety that erupted around the world and around America, and we start the film um, with with my character at home with his family, seeing it on TV like a lot of the world did. <coughs> um, and basically three weeks from there, uh, where the special forces team that I'm the captain of um, uh, land in Afghanistan, they're the first boots on the ground, and um, where the response to the 9-11 attacks. I think, you know, for Nelson, um, there was some sort of subconscious sense of duty, I suppose, that, that um, you know, especially when 9-11 happened, that he thought, you know, that could have been any of us, uh, you know, in those buildings or on that plane. That could have been my kid, my wife, my family. Um, so it's my job to make sure that doesn't happen again. And um, so I think he very quickly justifies what he's doing and, and has a strong sense of this is my job and this is what i got to do. And there is a scene in the movie where he does talk to his wife about that and, and says, you were in New York two weeks ago, that could have been you. So I think they're sort of... Um, that kind of slams it home for him. He commands, you know, respect as soon as he walks into a room. You know, not him personally, but his, his energy, you know. He, he, so that's not hard to sort of follow him and, and kind of um, want to look up to him and I welcome any sort of advice from him. It was awesome because we had, none of us really knew each other. Some of the guys did, um, I certainly didn't. And, uh, so we had, I think, three weeks of uh, military class where <clears throat> it was, you know, as it sounds, we were in a room with a blackboard and a piece of chalk, you know, listening to, to, um, to, to the experts kind of tell us about um, the special forces and about, you know, about this particular mission and so on. And that was, you know, invaluable. Um, you know, I think for also the being together and then doing that and then doing the weapons training and the physical training, the movement um, drills, help cement um, us as a, as a unit.